Hey, how's it going? Z-Man the Tech here. I want to thank you for tuning in to Snowly Games. As always, I appreciate you very much. And today, I'm taking a look at Broken Blades, courtesy of Golden Egg Studio. Huge shout out and a thank you for uh, reaching out to me via my business email directly to uh, provide this code to check out the game. Without much further ado, we're going to go ahead and hop in. But as always, what I like to do is uh, take a look at the options available. You know what I'm saying? See what we got going on. So... We have HD Rumble on, language, let's see, I don't want to, let's see, it, it should swap back, there we go. Okay, so those are the languages supported, tutorials on, and we have volume at 100%, right? Okay, uh, controls, let's take a look here. Okay, so we have a few alternative buttons here for some of the same actions, which is pretty cool. I like flexibility. We'll have to see how we're feeling about it as far as, uh, you know, what particular part of the control scheme works best for us. I do like the flexibility of joystick and D-pad movement. Um, all right, jumping is B, attack is Y. That's pretty standard. Interact is with A, and dodge is also X. Or you could do ZL. Okay, cool. All right, we got the credits here. Take a look at the awesome folks that worked on the game. So Pirate Game Studio are the uh, developers. And it was published by Golden Egg Studio and West Wind Games. Okay, cool. All right, so Pirate Game Studio, you know what I'm saying? We will uh, reference you <laughs> within this uh, Let's Play. You know, hopefully you're watching this. Uh, you know, I, you know they're, they're always... There always uh, are, um, you know, there's room for improvement or just kudos in general. I like to kind of address the developers directly, you know what I'm saying? So, anywho, <clears throat> let's go ahead and start the game. We have easy mode and hard mode. Well, obviously, I'm going to choose the easy mode. <laughs> so, this is how we do it, right? You have only one life, but some perks are unlocked permanently after, even if you die. Okay. So I want to say this is a roguelike uh, uh, side-scrolling uh, adventure game, is what it was described as. So, yeah, okay, D-pad or joystick. You know, I'm probably going to use the joystick. Okay. Hmm. Well, doesn't seem like there's a combo in like system in there. For like different types of slashes this this poke is all you have so all right we'll see what we can do okay okay you do have double jump okay passing through certain platforms is just strictly down you don't have to press down and jump so that that's decent um i wonder if that could cause an issue like if you go down and not mean to but um all right we'll have to see how it goes <laughs> All right, so ZR, ZL's dodge. All right, you can evade attacks and projectiles by dodge through them <laughs> without losing health, okay? All right, so we'll have to try to use that to our advantage. So basically what it's saying, if I'm reading that correctly, is we have invincibility frames. Oh, nice. Health blessing, pig tamer. Uh, okay, that extends our... Uh, our shield meter so I try to keep them as, as equal as possible um, but as I get the upgrades I'll you know we'll apply them as necessary all right more sword fragments in your weapon causes it to deal more damage but in cost of lower attack speed the size of the sword doesn't increase effects of the swords fragments so not always bigger means better so we can get a bigger sword though um, that's that's really good because <laughs> I was really worried about that. Okay, there we go. Okay, yeah, it did get bigger. Okay. Oh, and we are slashing differently. Okay, okay. I rest my case. I rest my case. That's not that's not as bad. Okay. <clears throat> and the slash is actually different as the sword got bigger. So pretty cool. Okay, what's this? 
Thick armor, guardian angel. Hmm. I want to say that guards us from uh, projectile attacks. So we'll have to test that theory here in just a bit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bruh, that rat tried to run up on me. Oh, gosh. Jeez. Oh, my power up. Okay, that's crazy. So when you get hit. Ah. Bruh. Okay, that's that's really that's really rough. <laughs> so it takes the old school aesthetic of losing losing your power up if you get hit. So that's a little rough. Because this little thing right here, this <laughs> this little uh, this little blade here is not doing it for me. All right, it looks like we should have went up. Because I don't know. I'm not really sure how big this map is. But we're going to explore as much as we can. So I'm going to see what the uh, top level. Where that takes me. And maybe there's some items that can kind of help us out. Maybe we might get another extension on the blade. That would be wonderful. Oh you got some stuff you can pay for. I'm broke as. You know what. So I'm not going <laughs> to. I'm not going to be able to buy anything right now. Let's. Defeat some more enemies. See what we can do. Insane reflex. I wish these kind of told you what they were. So I'm not going to waste it on healing because I only got hit like one time. Let's see what this is. Insect Slayer. Spider Slayer. Maybe we can attack those ones in the air a little better. Man, so that's an extension of the blade there for 20. If you can go back, uh, if this is like a Metroidvania, which from what I hear, it kind of borrows some aspects of one. So in theory, we should be able to go back and then I can go, uh, hopefully if I don't get hit again, <laughs> I can keep the extension of the blade there. Oh yeah, we could test that theory of if we get shot are we uh, protected? Ah. Okay. I, I'm definitely still taking damage. So I'm not really sure what that was or if it's still in effect or not. Okay. You only give you like one coin like per enemy killed. Like <laughs> you got to use this stuff wisely. I tell you. Okay, got nothing from that one. Let's check over here real quick. Oh. Uh. Use that. Insect Slayer. Thick skin. Let's try thick skin here. And this isn't even an insect, so. I doubt it. I'm only seeing bats and one-eyed bat creatures anyway. Unless those count as insects. I don't know. but Oh, okay. So you can't... The second jump on your double jump is actually... Ah! It's, uh... You can only delay it so far. Bruh. I'm getting destroyed. Maybe it's only taking... Alright, uh, you know what? Screw you. You know my blade is short. He's just doing it on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Bruh, this is crazy. Ah. Oh my god. <laughs> Looked like there was a boss over there I was getting ready to have to fight. So that's that's lovely. Alright, let's see if you can go back. Oh, you can't. Okay. So I, I take that back. It is not like a Metroidvania. There is no backtracking to previous areas. Um, 
Okay. I'll give it that. The, uh, the art is pretty decent. Animations, you know, they're a little basic, but, you know, they'll, they'll get the job done. Here we got something over here. Businessman. And get money quicker. Plus one, hell. I don't know if that was worth it or not. <laughs> it's probably only like giving me one little piece of life or something. I probably should have chose the other one, but eh, it's okay. I wonder if it means you get more money as ah businessman or whatever. Like the drops. Berserker. We can do that. Maybe that makes me stronger. That'd be great. See, this little blade, man. Like, ugh. it's like you have to be, like, really good at the game to, like, not get hit. That way your blade stays long. We take those. Give me that. Thick armor. For bullets or bat slayer. Let's get the bat slayer this time. We can do our best to dodge bullets, you know. But if they want to hit you, they're gonna hit you. There's really no way around that. Oh, thank goodness he jumped over me. And I didn't get hit. <laughs> oh man, what is going on up here? Okay, took that out. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, I don't know the point of going up there. I'm seeing some enemies I didn't see before. But it's definitely, ah, definitely a roguelite. Still got hit. That's lovely. Chill, bro. I don't want to fight you. Oh, God. Alright. So, here we go. Uh, I wish my sword was... Extended. Uh. See, it, these are going to take all your life by the time you actually get to the boss. Ah, God. Come here. Come on. Okay, so it gets him out of that attack mode if you dodge him. Ugh. I can't even hit him. From, this is ridiculous. Oh my god. I can't even attack him. Oh, there we go. can't be the first boss uh, this is embarrassing all right well all right this is the last try <laughs> apparently I need uh I need practice in this game but based off the way that, you know that they want you to play it <laughs> it's it's challenging in itself just from uh, it's challenging in itself just because of the limitations of the attack uh, hitbox. That's that's kind of what I'm getting from this right now. 
So I don't know, devs, if, if you're watching, is it is it something that could be altered to uh, to have a little bit more of a hitbox, even though the blade is small, like extending the arm a little further than just poking? Um, you know, I don't want to sound ungrateful or anything, but, you know, it, it would really help because <laughs> this is like, I think that alone is like adding to the difficulty of the game um, in a way that it doesn't need to be difficult, if that makes sense. But yeah, ah! I don't know why I'm going up here. Oh God, I don't need to be up here. Bruh. I don't even see that little shop dude anymore. Oh my gosh. I'm not, there's no way I'm going to make it now. <laughs> I, can't, I can't even get to the boss without taking a lot of damage. This is crazy. Ah, oh, this is crazy. All right, y'all. <laughs> All right. It, I'm going to have to stop here. Um, I, I don't know if the layout changes each time either. Uh, cause they say it's a roguelite, but, uh, if I'm not mistaken, um, Yeah, but yeah, it says it's randomly generated dungeons and a unique sword crafting system. Okay, cool, cool. But yeah, it, it says dynamic and challenging gameplay. It is, it is definitely challenging. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, to be completely honest, it's not a hundred percent my forte. Only because, like, I the the genre is I'm cool with, but the the short hitbox like the general short hitbox that you're going to see the most because you're going to take damage, right? The game is difficult to the point where it's probably going to take some time before you can get through this thing unscathed, right? So the sword you're going to be using most of the time is the short one because you take damage and you lose your po your sword power up. So if if the hitbox can be a increased a little bit, um, I think that would really help. But, you know, aside from that, you know, the music is, is decent. I like the art. Um, animations are okay. And, um, and yeah, I like the sense of exploration. You know, you, you, get, you got a, a nice amount of uh, land to traverse uh, within these caverns to try to, uh, you know, the, the, the more you search, you get rewarded for it. Like as far as upgrades and uh, things like that. So, you know, I'll leave it there. Um, but if you want to see more of this game, you already know what to do. Drop it in the comments to let me know. I'll do my best to make that happen. Uh, but until then, if you like what you saw, definitely like, comment, subscribe. Remember to keep it locked to Snowly Games for all of your indie game, third-party game, tech review coverage, and sometimes Nintendo and retro games thrown in the mix. All right? Y'all have a good one. Take care.